First at 11, people in Martin County can sleep easy tonight now that a wildfire that grew to 80 acres in size is contained. Firefighters battled those flames to keep them away from homes. But the Martin County School District has closed South Fork High School tomorrow as a precaution. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jay Jarvis. Our Steve King joins us from the school now with firefighters message to the public tonight. Martin County Schools leaders say due to smoldering in the area and out of an abundance of caution, school and all after school activities at South Fork High School have been canceled on Monday. Drivers are also being asked to avoid the area. If you're traveling in the area, just to please use caution. Uh, there is some smoke laying down in the area. If they don't need to be out traveling or in the area, they should limit their access to the area. Martin County Fire Rescue firefighters say around 2 in the afternoon they responded to the 10,000 block of Red Wing Drive in Stewart for a report of a fire, finding a 30 by 30 foot fire when they arrived next to some brush. Um, the fire spread pretty quickly from that point uh, due to the drought conditions that we're currently in. The fire grew to 80 acres in size and firefighters had to battle back flames to make sure they did not approach homes on Hawkview Circle in the Foxwood neighborhood. This picture from Martin County Fire Rescue shows how close some flames got to some homes in the area. The crews did an amazing job. Um, they protected a lot of homes and uh, we couldn't be more proud of them. They did excellent today. Some people lost power after the fire took down some power lines, but no homes were damaged. As of 7.15 p.m., the fire was 100% contained. Part of Pratt Whitney Road was shut down for several hours on Sunday due to the fire, and the cause of the fire is still under investigation. The Hungry Land fire, also in Martin County, reignited on Sunday, growing to 50 acres in size, but now it too is 100% contained. On Monday, firefighters will be back out making sure that both that fire and this fire by South Fork High School do not reignite. Reporting in Stewart, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.